Okay, um, so continuing on just with our passing the pile guards, let's look at one pass that can pass squid card, which is the pile of ladder guard, and reverse the other one. Let's just say you're standing, bro. So we want to think about inside knee position. For a squid, it's inside. So let's just say I get into my lapel guard stirrup position. I drape my right foot past um, Dave's, Dave's tip. I want worm, but Dave's being really smart. He's keeping this leg back. Just put that leg forward. For me to have worm, I'd want to be swinging this one down, passing to ring worm, and now I'm in the worm guard. So he knows to keep this leg back. That's the perfect time to go for squid guard. So from there, if I have no access to his right leg, all I'm gonna do is I keep the foot draped over his hip, I just reach inside with my right hand, and I physically pass the lapel from my left to my right. Two ways of playing squid. I can play it facing David, where I can um, make a grip on the pants, push to put him down and all that jazz. Just stand up again there, bro. Or I can spin, which is the way I like. I can spin to the back. Now, if you notice from there, I've got inside knee position with my right knee inside his left knee. This allows me to open up into open platas and, and, and lasso sweeps and stuff that you can do from there. Um, that's from our squid guard position. So David's on the bottom. I have a couple of preliminary squid guard escapes that I will we'll just add them into. So Dave's playing worm. He, he wants this. I take it back a step. So all he's going to do is, is keep the grip with this hand, swim inside, and then he passes the lapel to here. Okay. So from this position, if his elbow isn't tight, the easiest way to get out of lapel guards is just to unwind the lapel. So watch if the space here, just bring this leg out. And now from there, I can start to get into my cradle pass control. And start to come through here and do all that stuff. But nobody's going to do that. Just again from that position. Perfect. So he, he keeps it tight. So another thing you can be thinking about is his elbow's tight and I can't physically lift my heel through that space. I'm facing David. I'm just going to turn 90 degrees this way and pull my foot out. From there, it's the same thing. I'm running this way, starting to get into control positions again. The, the time to hit them is in the transition when they've just latched on the squid and they haven't really focused on what they're doing. So one more time on that. So this leg's back, he hasn't got a worm. He swims inside and gets squid. I'm immediately turning, ripping this leg out and now be pinning this knee, getting into passing positions. So let's look, he's fully locked on squid. This reverse stack pass. So we're in our position. Again, he, David wants to invert. So he'll be spinning around and looking to get that knee inside. The minute he does, I want to remove that. So my free hand is just going to make a grip on the pants and I'm pushing him laterally this way. My right hand comes underneath between the lapel and his leg and finds this. If you've noticed, my right arm is actually shelving David's knee. He can't get it inside, which is the position he needs to, to be able to play that game. I just push his knee to the mat and I walk around, I cross face him, he still has the lapel, it's my legs versus his arms, so he just sprawl out, and now it's side control. Let's get another angle on that. So, David's getting into squid, okay, he swims inside, he inverts to get inside knee position, watch, my left hand just grabs to this, Right comes through the space and finds the collar. Notice the way David wants his knee in there. This is already making a shelf. I just push this to the mat and then run around this way. He still has the lapel, no problem. I get some kind of head control, cross face. Now I just sprawl back and now I'm in the side control. I can even do this if he hasn't, if he's, if he's playing the front kind of squid. I just have to make the manufacture the angle myself so say we're here he's in the squid position yeah there and he's facing me so now he has an inverted no problem so from there now i need to cut the angle so i'm moving this way 
I start to push his knee to the mat, make my grip, and then I just spin around. The cross face, sprawl out. We can use the same um, pass against reverse de la worm. Let's take a look at that. So reverse de la worm is, I need to go through the, the, the ring worm, it's the, the hub. And then instead of going to worm, we can go to reverse to the worm. So let's just do a quick recap on that. I would go for this if David's legs forward. If his leg is back, it's squid all the time. Let's just say this leg's forward. So again, I'll swing my leg up. Ring worm guard. Instead of going to worm, which is that, karate chop the back of the knee. I come inside under my hamstring and in front of David's shin, and I make the grip. It's all a battle of the knee line. If I can get in squid, it's about me getting my knee on the inside. In worm and reverse the other worm, I want my knee over David's knee. Now he'll not he'll be savvy to that, so he'll be pushing my knee down with his hand. That means I'm coming this way, grabbing the collar, and physically pulling myself up on Dave. See the way how high my knee, my right knee over David's right knee. So when I swing this way, I'm putting him straight down. That will be the go-to move from reverse to other worm. I want um his I want my knee above his knee. But David's gonna have a go at that. So he looks for a ringworm guard, this leg's forward, so he's just gonna be um, going straight to ringworm guard, but now he's gonna switch to the reverse to other worm. His knee's over my knee, okay? So what's gonna happen? I'll be pushing this down, which means he's spinning this way. We pull his knee up, perfect. Watch our, our pass is here. Right hand goes in and finds that collar. I just push the knee to the mat, and I'm already on this side. I get head control. I scroll. I have broke that grip. That sucks getting that done on me. So again, just cut another angle on that. So David's playing. This guard, he's aware that this leg's forward, so the, the pathway is some kind of worm guard scenario. He goes to ring worm guard, but rather than going to worm, he comes underneath and switches to reverse style worm. From that position, I push the knee down, so he has to invert, pull himself up. Once he gets his knee above my knee, my right hand comes through and grabs the collar. I just push his knee down, walk around his head, get head control, I just sprawl. Let's take a look at if he doesn't um, invert. Very much like squid, I'll manufacture the same angle myself. So he's playing worm guard. Or reverse the worm. Osh. Okay. And he comes in to reverse the worm. Perfect. So say we end up here, and, and Dave's more on this angle here, okay? So again, I'm facing him. I need to be cutting an angle. So I'm going to be moving this way. Again, once I get into that position, all I'm thinking about is bringing my right hand in to make that grip. Push his foot or leg to the mat. Let's relax your leg there, bro. It's cut up. And then I'll be walking around this way, sprawling out. And we're in. Let's do that one more time. So just this side. Once you figure out the angles, the passing takes care of itself. I just want to put my weight on him as much as possible. And unwind the lapel, which is going around his head. So we end up there. So obviously if I'm in this position, this sucks. I can't have Davis knee above my knee. If it is, he's going to the sweeps there. So I'm amazingly pushing this down. But I'm also moving this way, cutting that angle. So once I push this leg down, my hand's coming through the space. Once I get to there, I'm just moving around. Again, there's our split pass. Once I get to there, go in the underhook. Head goes to the mat, and then we move in the second shot. So, a couple of ways of dealing with squid guard and reverse Stella worm.